Hi, fourth grade. Welcome back to another video lesson. Tonight we're still working in module three, and now we're working in lesson 33. And our objective is to explain the connection between the area model of division to the long division algorithm for three and four digit dividends. So we're going to look at how this connects and use our place value strategies to help us divide and really understand what that uh, dividing process looks like with our area models. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in our first problem, we're going to uh, just kind of warm up here. And our first problem is taking the area of two rectangles and finding an unknown length of one of the sides. So it says, write an equation to find the unknown length of each rectangle. Then find the sum of the two unknown lengths. So when I look at that, I know that uh, for a rectangle length times width gives me the area. Here I know the area and then I know uh, one of the, the two lengths of the sides. So I can kind of think about each of these as their very own division problem. And I can use that uh, division to find out well, the quotient um, here is the missing, is going to be that missing length. Um, so if I write that out, my first rectangle is going to be 600 square meters divided by 3. And the second rank rectangle is going to be 72 square meters divided by 3. And the problem is asked me to take those two lengths, those two unknown lengths, and give the, the sum of those. So I'm going to, on the first one, 600 divided by 3. Well, I know 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 600 divided by 3 should be 200. Let's see if we can... A little better there, 200 plus, not divided by, 72 divided by 3. So 72 divided by 3, whoa, that's a little bit more difficult. Um, I may have some different tricks I could do or I could just write it out in the uh, standard algorithm. 72 divided by 3, and 3 go into 7, 2 times... Uh, 2 times 3 is 6. And subtract that out. I have 1 left over. Bring down the two ones. And now I have 12 ones. 3 goes into 12. 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. And I have no remainder there. So the second length that I'm looking for is 24. And the total of the two unknown lengths is 224 meters. So there we go. There's a problem that we can just kind of get started with, thinking about division again. Let's go ahead and jump into some of the problems that you're going to be working on in your problem set tomorrow. Okay, so here's our first problem that we're going to uh, be seeing more of as we work tomorrow we're going to divide 672 by 3. And we're going to use an area model to help us do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off in my algorithm. And I'm going to distribute 600s um, into my three groups. And I'm going to ask how many times does 3 go into 6? Or 3 times what equals or is really close to 6? And I know that 6 times 2 is 6. So now I have uh, distributed those 600s, and I can put 2 in each group, and I have nothing left over. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing my area model here. And the first part of my area model I'm going to think about those 600s. 
and I know that 3 goes into 600 200 times. So I have the first segment of my area model complete. And now I'm going to bring down the 7 tens. And 3 will go into 7 two times. I can take 7 and distribute 2 times 3, or 6 uh, of those tens into my three groups. I subtract out those six tens. I have one ten left over. And I'm going to go ahead and add to my area model now. I had seven tens. And seven tens is equal to 70. But I was only able to uh, really distribute 60 of those, so I'm going to put 60 in my area model. And that is 20 times 3 is 60. So I divided out another, uh, another 60 from my total. And when I bring down the, the two ones, I have a total of 12 ones left over. So the final part of my area model here is going to represent those final 12 ones. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And I can subtract that out. I have nothing left over. And in my area model, uh, 3 times 4 is 12. So I've used my area model, and I can see that the 600s are represented here. The 610s that I distributed are represented in this part of the area model. And then the final 12 ones that I redistributed are represented here. Remember to use your place value strategies and decompose this number as you would divide through the number uh, and subtract out those hundreds, tens, and ones that you're distributing into your groups. All right, so there's the relationship there. Um, let's take a look at a couple more problems that we can make area models for. Okay, so here's our next problem, and we're going to be dividing 1,216 by 4 and creating an area model to show the connection to our standard algorithm uh, long division here. So I'm going to start and look. I have a 1 as my first digit in the thousands place, and I can't distribute 1,000 into four groups uh, evenly. So then I'm going to go ahead and look at the first two digits together and think of those as 12 hundreds. And I can divide uh, 12 by 4, and I know that 3 times 4 is 12, and it's 12 hundreds, and I can subtract that out, and there's no remainder there. So if I'm modeling that, then I'm going to start off with my uh, length of 4 for the, the side here, and then I know my area, I know that I can go ahead and from that 1,216, I can go ahead and I can divide 1,200 or 12 hundreds by 4 right away, and I have 3, and I know that 3 there is in the hundreds place. So 300 times 4 equals 1,200 or 1,200. Now, 
I bring down my one and I can't distribute one again evenly into uh, four groups. So that one ten there, I'm going to be able to distribute that zero times, uh, zero times four, zero. Uh, go ahead and go through the procedure and subtract that, um, subtract that out with one left over, and then I'm going to bring down my six ones. Now I have 16 ones that I'm going to divide by four. So I can go ahead and create an additional uh, part of my rectangle with an area of 16. And then I'm going to divide that by four. And I know I can distribute 16 evenly into four groups if I put four in each. 4 times 4 is 16, and I subtract that out. There's nothing left over, and 4 times 4 is 16. I can see that same thing modeled in my area model. Um, if I were doing this, again, with number bonds, I could think about this uh, 1,200... 16, and if I were breaking that up, um, dividing it by 4, yeah, I see that, I know that my basic facts, 3 times 4 is 12, so my first number that I would want to break out would be that uh, 1,200, or 12 hundreds, and I would divide that by 4, and that would leave 16 to be divided by 4, and I would go ahead and write out the formula uh, to solve 1,200 divided by 4 plus 16 divided by 4 equals, and 1,200 divided by 4 is 300 plus 4 equals 304. Okay, so here we've seen two examples of the link between the standard algorithm and our area models. Let's go ahead and do one more problem, and I'm going to ask you to go ahead and pause the video, and then try this next problem on your own uh, once it's set up and then come back and check your work and see if you were able to draw an area model that represented the thinking um, of this next division problem. So let's set it up first and then we'll pause the video for a moment. Okay, so here's our next problem, 774 divided by 3, and I'm sure you have some scrap paper there. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video right now and try to work this out on your own. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at the first digit here in the hundreds place is a 7. And I can distribute 7 into three groups if I put 2 in each group. And 2 times 3 is 6. And I know this is, these are hundreds that I'm dealing with. So I subtract out my 600s. I have 100 left over. So I'm going to go ahead and start my area model. And... In this, I'm going to start off with the 600s that I know I can evenly distribute into the three groups. Now that's going to be my largest section. So 600 there, and I know 600 divided by 3 is 2 hundreds. All right, so I'll go ahead and bring down my 7 tens. And now I have 17 tens. Uh, divided by 3, uh, I can know that if I put 5 in each of those three groups, that 5 times 3 is 15. And I can distribute at least another 150. And I'll have two tens uh, left over. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute that 
150 and I know that my 5 there is in the tens place and 5 tens is 50. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and bring down my four ones and now I have 24 ones. I'm going to be thinking about how can I distribute that into three groups. And I know that 3 times 8 is 24. So I know that I can distribute all 24 of those into my three groups and have uh, nothing left over. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my area model. I had 24 ones to distribute and I can distribute those into three groups if I put eight in each group. Okay, so there's the area model that goes along with our thinking for 774 divided by three. And I see my quotient is 258. All right, so go back and review these as you need to and be ready to do some more practice and try out some more problems in class tomorrow. We'll see you then.